Hey everyone and welcome back to LA Noir. On this video, we're going to be doing the case The Black Caesar. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an add vice case. Beat it! Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell. <laughs> nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in vice hall. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing it goodbye all over Central Avenue. Officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to handle code 2 identify. Well, we've got a slick new ride. Kind of weird he's letting me drive his car. Who in God's name would eat at that hovel? Picked a fry shithole for our first date. And I it's up the this stairs, detectives. The Around the corner, last door on the left. I'm all done. Your show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine? We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? These clowns lived on popcorn? Must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. Oh, 
Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Another day, another dollar. Black Caesar, from the joint across the street. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? You catch all the good ones, Phelps. Looks like it was always going to end this way. seen it all. Strange doodle. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Special order from the Caesar. Find anything interesting? A bit heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. All the good ones, Phelps. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Alrighty, let's head over. Uh, I could take the car, but I'll probably just run it. Should take about the same amount of time. The Black Caesar. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. They always run. Never works out for him. Stay on him. <laughs> oh, another boot to the face. I never learn. Almost close enough to tackle, but not quite. Ah! I 
Daddy, help me out, man. They're trying to kill me. You got to help me out. What the hell going on here? Morgan! B not you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animals. Oh, you're gonna pay for that clothesline you gave me. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. One Surrette. Half a grain per 15 cc, sterile needle, poison, solution of morphine tartrate. Warning, may be habit forming. That price is outrageous. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. It should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. Morphine overdose victims. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. Liar. I saw the stuff. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Popcorn cups with morphine. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? A cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. He brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Number slips recovered. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We're going bad, cop. We have an address on the slips. We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane, goes by the name of Merlin, all right? I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. You're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Oh, we need to make a call. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. J 
Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, we can either go to the numbers operation or we can go to the Jones booking agency. Let's go to the Jones booking agency. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. I was Hopgood. Good. Hollywood and Island. Hollywood and Island officers Who? need help to eleven in progress and Marlon Hopgood. Your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. Alright, we still got a ways to go, I believe. Um, let's turn right. Take a left, I think. Alright, we're coming up on it. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Oops, wanted to read that. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. 238, got it. Same info. Hey, who let you in? Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing, somewhere. You ain't allowed to do this, I got rights. Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. All right, so one of our clues tells us what to do here. Let's see, it was the radio station note. 275 FM. All right, so we need to change that to FM. Then go over to the tune. 
Change that over to 275. Perfect. And then turn it on. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brandon! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. Is this the best you got? The mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Clean them up quick, boys. Come on, come Ow. on, beat these guys. Ow. Ah. Damn. I don't believe this. Are you too good for anything? This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead? They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Army surplus morphine. Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. Clearly lying. Bad cop. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. Involvement of Adi. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. Oh, really? Accuse. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Distributor identified. Found with number slips and morphine, Morgan names Jones as distributor. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlin Adi. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. Link to Ramez removals. What's the score with Ramez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. Lying again. Bad cop. 
So when we visit Rem as removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you too. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. All right, we need to make a call. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for Ramez removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks. The heck happened to her voice? Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got the door? Well, whatever. Alright, let's go to the numbers operation. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. Suspect to be taken into custody as Sunset and Ivar. Unit to handle go to identify. Alright, we're near the place. I think we need to go into the back. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Odi. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I pay my kick to the WAPs, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Cohen took over the wire service from Siegel, right? All right, so if you remember, that clue we got right at the start, the strange doodle. It has a cherry, a bell, and a win. And it's for this slot machine. So that didn't help at all. It says use the left stick to select the button and press X to hold the symbol, but none of those are what we need. But we did get the bell, so let's hold that. There's our cherry. Just need that win. And 
Yeah, it's being stubborn. Come on now. There we go. With this quantity, we're looking at a high level trafficking charge. I think Ramaz's place is our next stop. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better start God talking. Damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it up, Adi. Apparently, I'm gonna have to tackle a bunch of people today. Get back here, Merlin. Stop You're not fast body, enough. I, will shoot. I wish you'd shoot, Phelps. I still need the trophy for stopping someone with a warning oh, shot. Almost close enough for that tackle. There he is. Here we go. We Get him. All right, all right, relax, motherfucker. You got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Mr. Jose Ramez promises to pay to Merlin Adi the sum of $231 and no cents. Jose Ramez. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I've paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. Army surplus morphine. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. That's not what Jones said. Accuse. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Finkelstein identified. Agent Jermaine Jones testifies to Adi running numbers and drugs for Lenny Finkelstein. Jermaine Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. IOU note from Jose Ramirez. Ramirez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. He's telling the truth. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and shift dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you. And fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. 
And don't be gentle with them. You got that? Yes, sir. They features the best live programming and transcribed shows. KBI's okay, we're off to Ramez Removals. Friends, what is the secret soap that the most lovely Hollywood stars use to preserve daintiness? Pandora brand toilet soap, the complexion soap, gentle white and so flavorful. Mickey Cohen runs the dope rackets. Mickey does what he's told. Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action that's going. I thought Jack Dragna was the one. Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. Word is he's gonna clip Bugsy. Who's word? What does it matter? One lowlife killing another lowlife makes our job easier. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! What does this lunatic think he's doing? Here comes the cavalry! We're not Ooh. around here! Take this clown off the road! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Step this dude's just off. running just over closer. these cops! Let's see if I can spin him? Nope. Not enough. He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. Why don't you shoot at his tire? Get close and steer him off the tar. That's it, Cole. You did it. His truck's history. Pull him out of there. My car's in the way. Give it up, LAPD. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. Okay, so over here we have a newspaper. Mickey Cohen, heir apparent to Bugsy Siegel. Cohen cries innocence as police begin inquiry. Uh, new arrival set to muscle in on drug protection rackets. Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, he looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an in infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of steak? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. 
If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now, so don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea, muscle kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. And that is seven of 13 newspapers. We're over halfway there. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Yep, yeah, we got Polar Bear Ice Company multiple times. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? We've also got Merlin a few times. Merlin Audi is buying a lot of furniture. Alright, so we need to get to the back of this warehouse. And this furniture is kind of a maze. Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? There must be a way through the back. Uh, whoops, not this way. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. Hey, what the heck? I'm confused. Maybe it is this way. Uh, this way, maybe? My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. It smells of old people in here. X to use the crane. Use the left stick to move the crane. What we need to do is unblock that door. The light indicates the crane arm position, I think it said. Press X to pick up and drop items. So we're going to pick this up. Get down here! There's a cold room in the back! I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. There's something frozen inside. I can solve this problem. Well, I'll be damned. The 
This must be how they transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Let's see, where did he go? Give me some goddamn cover. God damn it. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? All right, so... It seems we have found the source of all these drugs. Oh, and we found a new landmark. Crossroads of the world. It's like some sort of school over there. been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Careful, Roy. Oh, headshot there. There he is. Blaster. Throw out the guns. Let's see. What kind of gun did he have? Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Nothing good. This one's got your How long do you think you can hold out? Pick up his uh, shotgun, I think it was. You're fucking I need to try to get headshots. Let's see if that works out. Weapons on the ground, now! Eh. Hoping I could make that little gap in the railing. Blind fire is where it's at. He's there! Right there! Kill him! Find some cover! I 
There was a dude up Move top on, shooting gotcha. at me. Right, let's take this slowly. Pour it on, Keep shooting. I want him dead. Oh, he's somewhere. Oh, he's over there. I see you. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Let's do something. Where are you running? Nowhere. I'm wide open here. Real clever asshole. I'm gonna find you. You're surrounded, and your buddies are dead. You're covered, Phelps. I think he's behind that ice. Oh, there he is. There he was. Alright, let me take his weapon. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Three guesses what's in the box. Open her up, Cole. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. The Black Caesar. All 13 clues found, all 7 questions correct. Only $52 of vehicle damage. The death of Lenny Finkelstein should keep administrative vice in the headlines. For now. And 5 stars. Our first case as a vice detective went pretty good. So, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.